Hello, my name is Stuart Hevelin and I am a soil conservationist for USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service. Today I'm going to talk about how grazing management can help alleviate the symptoms of drought. On the table in front of me are a couple of different models that I'm going to use to show how different grazing management systems can affect soil's ability to withstand drought. These two different samples were taken from the same soil type, Guernsey Silty Clay Loam. As you can see, the management of the forages on these samples vary quite a bit. This sample here is off an overgrazed pasture. As you can see, it's very compact, very little forage growth on top, very little root structure down very deep. Compared to this sample over here, which uses management intensive grazing, as you can see it's a much more forage on top, many, many more roots underneath, held together much better. On the management intensive graze sample, the producer pulled his livestock off uh, during early symptoms of drought, started feeding hay to uh, give his plant some uh, rest, uh, which has protected the soil and the forage from the drought. This first demonstration is called a slake test. This test is designed to show the stability of soil under current management. I have an aggregate from each sample that has been air dried, and I'm going to submerge both in the water to see how they react. As you can see, now that some time has passed, the sample on your right is the overgrazed pasture. And you can see the water is very murky now. Um, if you give us a little bit of motion on it, you can see the structure is really starting to fall apart. Uh, this sample lacks biological glues made by the microbes in the soil, uh, which hold the soil particles together. Uh, the sample on your left is the management intensive graze pasture. You can see there's still some stuff falling off. That's mostly off the outside edge because we removed it from its uh, structure from the soil. Um, but as you can see it's still holding together pretty good even if we shake quite a bit we lose a couple little particles here and there. Uh, but nothing compared to this one on your right. Uh, and in a real world situation this soil when it when rain would hit it or water would flow across the surface uh, you would get some of these soil particles would get dislodged. They would erode uh, this could lead to soil leaving your pasture, uh, which would reduce your forage growth because of the reduction in organic material. Uh, also, this could lead to gullies forming in your pasture uh, and causing this erosion process to speed up even more quickly. Uh, the one on the left is going to hold structure. It's going to hold that organic material in the soil. It's going to allow better root growth and penetration. Uh, which will then increase the productivity of the forages on that soil. In different demonstrations we've done over the years, um, we've found that these overgrazed pastures tend to have a soil erosion that is similar to a uh, plowed crop field. Um, so it's kind of surprising every time we see it. In front of me, I have two containers, each filled with crushed soil sample from each management type. Each container has holes drilled in the bottom to allow for drainage of the water as it passes through the soil. I'm going to simulate rainfall using these two smaller containers with holes drilled in them. Note that these soil samples have no compaction. By crushing these soils, I have removed all compaction and macropores that were present. Macropores are channels formed by plant roots, soil cracks, and soil fauna such as earthworms. Notice it's the management intensive grazing soil on this side. The water has completely percolated through the soil structure. Uh, quite a few bit of it has been absorbed by the soil itself. Um, this is due to the presence of micropores, which are uh, small channels within the aggregate of the soil. Uh, these are where the plants pull their moisture from while their roots are in the ground. On the other side, this overgrazed pasture, which again, all compaction has been removed, but the water is still pooling on the soil surface. Uh, none of it's really getting through. A little tiny bit's finally running through now. Uh, but this is due to the lack of those micropores in these soil aggregates. Uh, 
Now imagine this was in place on the farm. Uh, this was on a pretty steep slope where I took these samples from. Uh, and we get an inch of rain, which is equivalent to 27,154 gallons per acre for every inch of rain that falls. Uh, if this was in place, that water would hit this ground, would run off pretty quickly because it could not absorb into the soil. Whereas this one absorbed very, very quickly. Um, so most of that water is going to stay. Uh, this will definitely be helped by the fact that there is forage on top of the ground, some residual that will slow that water down and allow it to infiltrate even faster. Same soil type, not taken very far apart, uh, but management is what makes the difference. As you can see, pasture management has a large impact on how drought affects your pastures. I hope this video is informative. Thank you and have a good day.